Welcome to Lesson 4. In this particular lesson, you're going to be learning about two very important aspects in music. If you think about music, it's actually really quite simple. If you play your notes in time, in tune, with a good tone, you have pretty much accomplished an awful lot of the technique required to play music. Now, I understand that there's other features to music, vibrato, uh, musicality, obviously the phrasing, dynamics, and things like that. But if you master these three aspects of music, playing in time, in tune, with a good tone, you're well on your way to really being a fine musician. So this lesson is going to be very important because we're going to handle two of those aspects. We're going to talk about playing in time, and then later in the next lesson, we're going to talk about playing in tune. So you might want to think of there being five aspects to starting a tone. First, exhale, get the air out of your lungs. Next, inhale, put your tongue on the tip of the reed, start the air pressure going, and release the tongue. You need to do all of those, however, in such a time, in such a place, that you can start the first note on time. So let's take a look at a little exercise and practice our breathing before we start notes. So this first exercise, you can see we have a measure of rest, a breath, and then two half notes. I'm going to set the metronome for the pulse of 60, and we're going to practice our breathing in two different ways. Let's practice first breathing in over two beats and then starting the first note. So just like this. I took a breath over two great beats that gave me plenty of time to take a big breath. This is the sort of thing I would do for a very long phrase. But most often, I time my breathing to the beats in some way. So let's try breathing in now with just a single beat allowing for the breath. Here we are. Before I breathed in, I had to make sure that I had exhaled the, uh, the air out of my lungs. So in exhaling, I breathed out on beat, beat three, out, breathed in on beat four, and then I started the note. Work on this so that you can, you can time and start the note properly uh, right after the breath. The, uh, the next exercise I have here deals with two half notes, and then you have to breathe in between the half notes and two other half notes. So consequently, these four half notes are not the same duration. When I have to breathe between two notes, I have to actually cut off the note uh, right before the breath. So consequently, these four notes are not of equal value. I have to breathe, in this instance, after the second note, cutting it a little bit short in order to enter on time in the third note. So let's try that. Again, I have my metronome set for 60. exercise several times till you have really mastered it. Uh, timing those breaths are, are often a little bit difficult and you need to practice them many times so you've mastered it. One of the most common things for wind players is to be late after a breath. Working with the metronome on these sort of issues here helps you with your timing and makes certain that you're playing the notes on time. Listen very carefully to your playing. So let, let's give an example here of something that is in one of our study books. And you can see here that there are breaths given after 
uh, the half note in measure two, this, the uh, fourth half note, and the exercise continues on. So let's play this with the metronome again. I've got this set for 60. And I'm going to take, take my breaths and play this as written. I forgot how it goes on there, but uh, in any case, I, I, I played that, that next note. So you can see I have to steal a little value from the note just before the breath, breathe in quickly, and then play the next note. In these instances, I didn't breathe a whole beat. I've learned well enough in my playing how to just cheat the note a little bit and take my breath. But at this point in this lesson, you might need the entire beat to breathe in, and that's just fine. We want to just make sure that you enter on the next note in time.